Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about the room I am standing in my closet. So I get asked all the time about my closet, how I keep it organized, how I keep it clutter free and basically what I do. So today I'm going to share with you guys five very, very easy steps that you guys can follow. I recommend that you do this twice a year, preferably every season. It really just depends on where you live, your climate and how often you purge out your clothing. But let's go ahead and get started with step number one. So step number one is to gather everything. Do your laundry. If you keep clothing in the mudroom, at your office, in your car, bring it all into the closet that you are organizing. So today's video is specifically talking about clothing, but you can actually do these five steps in any category of a closet. So think shoes, handbags, accessories, whatever it is. But first and foremost, you have to gather everything and make sure that you are looking at everything that you actually own so you can start with everything. So let's gather everything, do the laundry, put it all away. Step number two is to then have a space that you can remove everything. I like to use my bed, but you can use a dining room table. You can use a large kitchen island, whatever it is. Now you want to bring everything out of the space and sort it into categories. You can put tops together, dresses together, coats and winter clothing together, put it all together and lay it out so you can see everything all together. Step number three is where the fun begins. So I like to sort into three categories, keep, trash, and donate. And everything in my donate category gets listed on my Poshmark closet. And everything that I make from my Poshmark gets donated to a local charity. And these are a few sweaters that'll be in my Poshmark. I'm also listing several dresses and other tops. But like I said, everything gets donated to a local charity. I will put the link down below to my Poshmark closet. You guys should definitely check it out. Not only do I list a lot of pieces that have barely been worn, but like I said, everything gets donated to a local charity. So make sure to check out the link down below so you can download the Poshmark app and start shopping my closet. So when I purge my closet, it is important to me to keep things that I know that I actually reach for, that I wear, that bring me joy, that fit, that flatter. Um, I try not to keep anything that doesn't fit, that doesn't flatter my body anymore, or just doesn't look good, or just isn't my style. So I do still keep some things. I've gotta keep a ski jacket, things like that. You need to keep some seasonal things. So don't get rid of everything. Keep the things that you need, keep the things that you wear, keep the things that fit, keep the things that flatter, and let's get rid of everything else. Step number four is to clean the space. Now that it is clear of all the clothing, you can actually dust it and clean it properly. Get all the shelving, get all the sides, get your rods, get your paint color out and touch up the walls if you need to. Whatever it is, let's get the space clean and fresh. Step number five is to organize. Now I like to organize by category and then color within each category. I see a lot of people that will organize their entire closet by color and it looks amazing. It looks beautiful, but it's not super practical. For me, whenever I need a long sleeve shirt, I like to go to my long sleeve category. I don't necessarily narrow down by color. You have long sleeves scattered all around your entire closet if you organize by color versus just going to the long sleeve section and then going within color within those categories. So like I said, I like to organize by category and then you can organize by color within each category, but by category is so much more practical and useful when going to reach for your everyday outfit. So that is it. Now everything is organized by category and color within each category, and it will be so much easier to reach for. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and I hope it works for you. Five very, very easy steps. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.